Hello guys, this is Rich or Rich TV and welcome back to my channel. But before I start the devotional guys, I would like to shout out the following person or channel. Inday Distill, Psyche Carion, Francis Capinto, Marabutit, Young TV, May Heat, Shan TV Guapo, Michael Aburita, Isai Ratso, MTO Travel, Jilu or Furious Lihat, Michael Aburita, Rain Visto, PCMI Main Children's Ministry, Lerina McDonald, Olen Visto, Lynn DC Blog, Jenerine Alferes, Jaws Travel and Tour, Rain, Teacher Rain, Panga PB, Sing C23 TV, Familia Lagan Channel, Biligas Luz and Clay Yang's Blog, Kigwa Butigon, Anakni Yang's TV, Ocean's Corner, Pretty L, Four Months Work, uh, Yang's TV, Ever the Great Yoki, Derek Kabsat, Boss Jack, Marisa TV, Heart Ponsalan, QTB Tero Skate, and especially mention, Miguel Miguel shout out to my family, Ritz member, Marisa TV, Heart Ponsalan, and QTB Tero Skate. <music> Okay guys, kumusta yung holiday natin, no? Parang ano no, saya no kasi hindi na full yung holiday sa ano sa sa weekdays. Sayang. Okay. So let's start proceed our devotional guys. Let's open our Bible to Isaiah chapter 25 verses 1 to 9. Isaiah chapter 25 verses 1 to 9. This is about the praise to the Lord, no? Okay, so still I'm using the devotional study Bible because the words you see is so simplified. Maintindihan talaga natin. Okay, Isaiah chapter 25 verse 1 to 9 says, O Lord, you are my God. I will exalt you and praise your name. For in perfect faithfulness you have done marvelous things. Things planned long ago. You have made the city a heap of rubble. The fortified town a ruin. The foreigners stronghold a city to more it will never be rebuilt. Therefore, strong people will honor you. Cities of ruthless nation will repair you. You have been a refuse for the poor, a refuse for the needy in his distress, a shelter from the storm, and shade from the heat. For the breath of the ruthless is like a storm driving against a wall. Unlike the heat of the desert, you silence the uproar of foreigner, or heat is seduced by the shadow of a cloud, so the song of the ruthless is stilled. On this mountain, the Lord Almighty will prepare a feast of rich food for all people, a banquet of aged wine, the best, best of meats, and the finest of wines. On this mountain, you will destroy the shroud that involves all prophets, all peoples, the sheet that covers all nations. He will swallow up death forever. The sovereign Lord will wipe away the tears from all faces. He will remove the disgrace of his people from all the earth. The Lord has spoken. In that days, they will say, Surely this is our God. We trusted in Him, and He saved us. This is the Lord. We trusted in Him. Let us rejoice and be glad in His salvation. Amen and Amen. Okay, guys, let's pray. Father God, in that verse na binasa namin, oh God, yes, Lord, uh, the author of the Bible, oh God, just relate to you how much they suffered from uh, the walls and schemes of the enemy, from the work of those ruthless people that... Uh, doing negative things unto them. Lord, we never know in our situation, we never know who they are, but yet you know uh, all of them, oh God. Lord, we wanted to live at peace, oh God, with you. That's why we're so dependent unto you. Lord, lead us, guide us, manifest in us. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen and amen. Okay, guys, our focus verse is in Isaiah 25, verse 7, and it says, God will destroy the throat that involves all people. Amen. Amen. Especially this uh, 
thing that we are suffering this time. No? That's a promise of God. Let's claim it. No? Yung mga infirmities, yung mga sakit-sakit dyan. Yung uh, poverty na no? mawawala sa atin yan. We rebuke it in Jesus' name. No? Okay guys, the title of our devotional is uh, Destroying the Strout. A brutal car wreck devastated Mary and Franco. Though she survived, the inquiries left her completely blind. All I could see was blackness. Franco explained, 21, year old later, 21 years later, she injured her back in a fall. After walking from surgery, which had nothing to do with her eyes, miraculously, her sight had returned for the first time in more than two decades. Franco saw her daughter, daughter's face. The neurosurgeon insisted there was no scientific explanation for her restored vision. The darkness that seemed so final gave way to people and light. The scripture as well as our experience tells us that a shroud of ignorance and evil covers the world, blinding all of us to God's love. Selflessness or selfishness and greed, our self-sufficiency, our lust for power or image, all those comp compulsions obscure our vision, making us unable to, to clearly see the God who, in perfect faithfulness, had done wonderful things. One translation calls this blinding stroke a cloud of gloom. Lift ourselves, we experience only darkness, confusion, despair. We often feel trapped, grouping and stumbling, unable to see our ways forward. Thankfully, Isaiah promises that God will ultimately destroy the shroud that enfolds all people. God will not leave us hopeless. His radiant love removes whatever blinds us, surprising us with a beautiful vision of good life and abundant grace. Amen and amen. Yes, guys, no, even in my life, uh, I really consider something in my life na I really keep on groping, no? As I feel as if I'm groping in the dark. Uh, I don't know if you always hear uh, the word from other people na lagi naman ako natatrabaho, pero bakit ganito lang lagi yung condition ko? Uh, I... I felt I felt the same, no? Na, Lord, I, I even asked God, Lord, bakit ganito? I work hard, then I yet, uh, wala, no? Parang empty-handed. Why is money so easy to go out of me, no? So, yun, ang question ko, but we'll just claim this, you know, this uh, uh, verse, no? Na sinabi ni Isaiah, God will destroy the strong that enfolds all people not only to me but to all of us no god hears our prayer god knows the desire of our heart and the lord natin is let's delight ourselves before god that he may no gives us the desires of our heart no okay guys let's proceed to the two question where do you sense the darkness in your world yun doon na area no para ah yun Hindi ko na ano, basta I, I already explained it, no? The number two, how do you imagine Jesus destroys that place? Uh, imagine ko na parang the same way na inataki ang, ang, ano, ang place ng ma, uh, anak ni Lord with the enemy na pinapatay sila. But yet, ganun din ang gagawin ni Lord sa kanila, no? na masira talaga yung band-aids ng uh, ano natin, mga struggles natin. So, we will be set free. No? Okay guys, so, let's now pray. God, the gloom is everywhere these days. It's so difficult to see your truth and love. Well, you help us in hopeless Without you, yes, Father God, thank you that you are there listening unto us. Nakita mo yung situation namin, now, God. Teach us not to be hopeless because you are there. Amen and amen. 
Okay guys, sana may natutunan na naman tayo sa devotional natin, no? Let's enjoy the devotional every day kasi I do not know, no? Let's consider this devotional as our devotional, no? Para na rin tayo nagsisimba in a day, no? Praising God to listening to the words na binabasa natin, no? God bless us all guys and I know God will surely bless us 10 times better. This is again Rich of Rich TV. Kita-kita tayo muli. At hanggang sa muli, paalam!